Good afternoon. I'm Letty Azar. I'm the District 4 Manager with the Department of Neighborhoods. And thank you very much for joining us here in District 4 in Cornerstone Village. This is an exciting day. For the first time in history, we're undertaking a combined neighborhood approach to water and sewer updates. Not only are we investing $500 million over the next five years to upgrade our water and sewer systems, but the Water and Sewage Department is doing this work using a data-driven approach, neighborhood by neighborhood. It's my distinct pleasure to, <clears throat> excuse me, to welcome you and share who will be speaking first. Deputy Director and Chief Engineer of the Detroit Water and Sewer Department, Palencia Mobley, who has spearheaded this new approach. Following Palencia will be the Honorable Mayor Michael Duggan, and after Mayor Duggan will be Councilman Andre Spivey, who represents us here in District 4. Following him will be our neighborhood leaders, Gloria Mann and James Grenwick, He's the president of Cornerstone Village. And after their remarks, we'll, we'll assemble again for photo opportunities. While we stand here on Hillcrest Street in Cornerstone Village, we're also launching a similar project in North Rosedale Park on the city's west side. Both projects will begin this week. So now I'm going to turn it over to DWSD Deputy Director and Chief Engineer Palencia Mobley. Good morning. This is an exciting day for our city, these two neighborhoods, Cornerstone Village and North Rosedale Park, and for the Detroit Water and Sewage Department. When we formed the Great Lakes Water Authority, it created an opportunity for Detroit to reinvest in its infrastructure and to provide opportunities for Detroiters. Today is a significant milestone in that regard. In reorganizing DWSD, we have been able to take a neighborhood approach to updating our infrastructure. And under new leadership, we are investing more than $500 million over a five-year period. Since 2018, we have uh, upgraded more than 43 miles of water main and rehabilitated 40 miles of sewer. We also have replaced 559 lead service lines. The neighborhood-based approach that we use today is based on changing the way that we do work. We typically used to look at the number of water main breaks and the number of water and basement complaints to assess infrastructure in the neighborhood. Now we use additional information, including lead service lines, uh, as well as, um, uh, ooh, excuse me, uh, issues around stormwater management and whether or not we need to manage stormwater in the neighborhood. The reason that Cornerstone Village and North Rosedale Park were chosen and selected is because they were a part of a master plan uh, in the early 2000s that indicated they needed additional infrastructure improvements. In advance of this particular project, DWSD has had numerous outreach efforts, something that we did not do in the past. We have actually went to every single home, had block club meetings, and actually went to community meetings to tell uh, people about the projects that are going on. The investments in these neighborhoods is about $44 million over the course of the next two years. The projects were approved by the Board of Water Commissioners and the Detroit City Council. The contractors are Rickman Construction and LGC Global. The contractors and some of their Detroit resident employees are here with us this morning. As many of you know, under Executive Order 2016-1, the City of Detroit requires 51% of all hours on construction projects to be performed by Detroiters. Detroit looks forward to engaging more with the community so that Detroiters benefit from the work as we upgrade the water and sewer systems here and in other neighborhoods in the years to come. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the Honorable Mayor, Mike Duggan. All right. Well, you're probably uh, wondering why we asked you all here to talk about water and sewer. Uh, but this is a different day in Detroit. And those of you in the media, you covered these issues before. You came out when a water main was open and pouring water, when a sinkhole developed, where the fire hydrants didn't work, where people were frozen under their block. And that always made for real fodder for you uh, to talk about what was going on. Uh, things have changed. And the Detroit Water and Sewer Department has done a great job at identifying the highest risk areas and fixing them. And now we're progressing to what a professionally run city does, which is take an entire area at once, 
replace the water and sewer systems at the same time. Replace the infrastructure to the fire hydrants at the same time. And when you take out the water main, for most uh, houses in the city, there's a lead pipe running from the water main to the house. That uh, lead pipe is owned by the homeowners in this state, which has been a huge issue uh, across the state. Uh, what our program is allowing us to do now is our water and sewer department will knock on your door, and if you'll turn that pipe over to us, at the same time we come down the street and tear up your street for the water main, we will put in a new copper pipe uh, at our expense, and your lead pipe will be gone for good. We're doing it here at Cornerstone. We're doing it in North Rosedale, a $44 million project. Uh, and uh, we require our contractors to use 51% of the hours worked by Detroiters. We are going to have Detroiters rebuilding our water and sewer system. And here's probably uh, the most unusual thing at all. Our rate increases have been around 2% a year. We're not rebuilding the system with 10, 12, 14% increases the city had seen in the past. Uh, DWSD is running efficiently enough uh, that we can rebuild this uh, to the kind of water and sewer system the city needs and still keeping it affordable uh, for our residents. So Palencia Mobley, who's been the engineering brains of this operation, Gary Brown, who's done such a great job of running the department, uh, deserve enormous credit. Uh, and the other person uh, who deserves credit is the one who has backed us from start to finish in this vision to say we can rebuild our water and sewer system before uh, there are leaks, there are breaks, there are collapses. Uh, please welcome Councilman Andre Spivey. Good afternoon, everyone. So we are here in the Cornerstone area, one of the best homeowner associations here in District 4. Uh, and on the east side, primarily, we've had our fair share of water issues close by the river. We've had some flooding issues, and out here we've had some infrastructure issues. And so this is a very important uh, event today. Palencia came uh, several months ago uh, to share what they want to do here in District 4 and District 1. And I thought it was a very good idea uh, to start right here in Cornerstone, particularly here on Hillcrest Street, uh, to improve our infrastructure because we get calls almost every week regarding issues, uh, but I applaud Palencia Mobley and Gary Brown uh, for the great work they're doing with our D DWSD department and what they're going to do uh, in the future. What I'm most importantly proud of are uh, some of the men and women who are standing beside you and behind us here today. Uh, we have some men and women who work in, who work for LGC and uh, Rickman who live in the city of Detroit. Uh, the mayor and I have been working for several months now, particularly several years, to make sure we get Detroiters working. And this will provide long-term employment for those who live in the city of Detroit. And so when you ride by and see the work being done, you will see men and women who live in our city who are being employed. It's very important that we keep that going. And also, when the work is done, you won't see the work. It'll be in the ground. Uh, but you see the men and women who've been employed here and who'll be able to live here and work here and stay in our city because they've been employed by the two contractors that we have standing behind us uh, here today. And so, again, I say we're in Cornerstone, uh, one of the biggest and best homeowner associations here in District 4. Uh, Jim Grimmick is our president. Uh, one of our officers, Glory Manish, you want to bring them at this time. Brother Jim and Glory, would you come at this time as we uh, honor you for your leadership here in Cornerstone. Jim and Glory. Okay. Thank you, Councilman. I'm Jim Grenwick. I'm the president of Cornerstone Village Community Association, and we are very encouraged to have the Water Department initiate this project. Uh, on behalf of all the residents in Cornerstone, we're very thankful uh, for the diligence and the efforts uh, that are going to be expended here. Uh, with me I have uh, Gloria Mann, one of our uh, block captains and leaders. I just want to thank the Water Board for going, taking us through the process. It was, took us two years to finally get the process started and they came to our community meetings and informed us of everything, and it's so well organized, and I'm just happy that we're getting this work in our community. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three. All right. That's fine. Grails. Grails are, in the sneaker world, is what we try and get our hands on. It's that one shoe that you just, you go so hard for it. You know, you, you look for it as, as much as possible. You try and get it. You might not even wear it half the time. Or you might put it on and you might rock it all day, every day. 
Opening night is Saturday, February 15th from 7 to 9 p.m. Visit thecarcenter.org for more information.